We've, as everyone will have seen, we've selected a list of 28 from the UPL. Those players are due to join us uh, on the evening of Sunday the 20th, so tomorrow as I'm talking to you now. And they'll come into camp and we look to begin training um, from the 21st. And really we don't have a lot of time because we will then be travelling out to Cameroon on the 28th of December to partake in a four nation tournament with our hosts Cameroon, Zambia and Niger. So really over those six, seven days, We've got to trim that squad down. We're going to travel 25 out to Cameroon initially. And so, yeah, those 28 will be competing and we are just going to trim sort of three or four players from that group. Obviously, one of the big standouts from the squad that we've named is there's no place for any KCCA players in it at the moment. And that's purely because I think as people are hopefully aware, KCCA have a couple of important CAF Confederations Cup games, one on the 23rd of December and another one on the 6th of January. Now, ideally we would like to have the best KCCA, KCCA players with us now, but for us to do that would hurt their chances at progressing in their game against AS Kigali. So really, for Uganda football to be strong, not only do the national team have to perform and succeed, but our clubs have to perform on the continent in the CAF competition. So really, we decided to let the KCCA players remain with their club to prepare effectively for their games against AS Kigali, and we wish them the best of luck. We will be monitoring those games and we'll be monitoring the players from a distance. And then after their game against AS Kigali, probably we can expect four or five or six KCCA players to join us down in Cameroon before we select the final group of 23 for the tournament itself.